going on people it's your boy Chris Istanbul Turkey it is a beautiful day here I've been here for almost a full week actually it is a full week uh, and the weather's been all over the place from cool to rainy to just downright beautiful so today I want to do some shopping in the outside markets I want to do a little bargaining I want to find some stuff now the problem I have is I prepacked last night to make sure how much room I have I don't have much room what I'm interested in actually buying which is a little more difficult to film as well, would be watches. So I'm interested in getting some, you know, some lower quality watches, something I'm interested in. I don't want to just buy shit. It's gotta be something I can add to my collection. I don't expect things to uh, stand out. If I wanted a super clone, I know exactly where to go. But if you know anything about me, um, you know, if you, if you know anything about me, I, I, don't, I, I, I got my clone set up. I got it, you know what I mean? I, got, I know where to get it. But here in Istanbul, clones are like a unicorn there is only I can't even say a handful of places that actually have super clones uh, they will have certain things like clean factory VSF stuff like that factories which is what you want for Rolex however you can find yourself a decent watch around here you can get some decent anywhere from 150 to 550 500 area stuff like that Nothing that's gonna blow you out of the water. Nothing's gonna make you feel like, oh man, look at this thing. No, you obviously can tell there's some issues with it. The lower the price on the watch, you'll start to notice that the bracelet's very thin. The bracelet, the shininess of the bracelet is not correct to the real one. And this is all the type of details that we're talking about when we're looking for such a thing. When we're looking for clones, we're looking for all the fine details. Now, as you guys should know too, when it comes to watches, there is only one brand of watch that they've actually mastered the cloning of, and that is the Rolex. So you people that want the Paddocks, the Patek Philippe's, you want the Richard Mills, you want the Hublet, you want the APs, keep in mind that those, they haven't been mastered. There, there is gonna be an issue somewhere on it that could be very noticeable. So just keep that in mind. And you guys that want the crazy, crazy ones, obviously those are gonna be much more harder to duplicate. The Rolex is always the safe bet. You know, the Submariner, the, the Datejust, the Daytona, all those are perfect. Those are as close as you're gonna get. We got cats waiting for food time. You'll notice that a lot here in Istanbul. So stream quality is going good. I'm heading to Mumet Pasha, which is the shopping street here. I'm taking the back alleyways to get there. You gotta be careful, there's bikers everywhere. Now I have the uh, camera on my shoulder as well, capturing vertical video. So if we have any good moments, they can go for things like TikTok and Instagram. You know, some vert video. So we'll see. We'll see how that works, how that goes. But you know, many people here know me. So when they know, obviously I'm filming, I have a camera. They know that I make videos. It, it's, a, it's only a rare handful that are willing to let me film such things as watches. So, and it's kind of hard because if I know people, it's hard to haggle with them, right? Part of the joy of haggling with somebody is that you don't know them. And you're trying to play that game. I got to put my phone on my little lanyard clip so hold on one second while I try to clip this on here and unfortunately I'm not wearing a jacket today because it's too warm and I lost my extra pockets because when you have a jacket here I have an inner pocket for some money I have an outer pocket for some money with zipper I have I have uh oh, hello my friend I thought he was coming through with like a, a hand truck or something you know now there are some watches up here but I'm gonna go down this way gonna walk this way and let's see if we can discover anything now I would buy a pair of shoes however there's a couple of problems with buying a pair of shoes one I'm live streaming I have my ba streaming backpack on my camera in my left hand which has a cable a cable going to it that needs to like stay in place so you guys can see what's going on 
it's hard to it's hard enough to try to get money out of your pocket to pay for something it's another thing to then actually try shoes on with this whole setup you gotta take the backpack off you have to put the camera down it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot more complicated uh, that's why you'll see some IRL streamers nowadays have a camera person believe it or not that is carry so shoes right there you can go there maybe haggle but I don't need shoes actually tell you the truth and Turkish quality shoes aren't my thing they're not they're not my jam as we say but I don't know what I do I don't even have room for pack my uh, luggage for it. so we got to find something worth worth uh, a video worth a video we got to find something worth a video to tell you the truth hmm. it is very difficult for me you know it is very difficult for me to come out here there's some watches there some watches there as well anything good uh, they don't have a watch out they're working with somebody hey guys how you doing they're working with somebody so you have to go somewhere else and a lot of the places are hidden off the side streets here like this place right here that place right there has like a lot of little shops that the shops out here will then work with so a lot of times you might be out here and you see something but you have to go somewhere else so just keep that in mind there's some watches too but it's the same deal you know watches there as well there could be like i said there could be one or two watch shops that all these guys are working with this is how it works it's like even in the grand bazaar like you'll see a full watch shop in the grand bazaar and they don't have any super clones so i don't know somebody showed me a really nice date just the other day with a diamond uh diamond dial and it's somebody i know here and he's like oh, i'll sell it to you for 100 euro but i didn't like the bracelet the bracelet was too thin that was the only issue it was oyster which was nice because i already have a jubilee so i would like the oyster how much do you get for the us uh, so ladies but how much do you get for a rolex like that six thousand five hundred made up for you six thousand how much is that in dollars about 250. very high but it's an automatic no battery inside it's japanese movement it's japanese but yes. it's an automatic sapphire glass waterproof it's not cheap one. they're all sapphire glass yeah, you can try it. <laughs> They're all sad. You glass. can test it. Uh, how about the Panerai? What do you get for a Panerai? Panerai is 7,500. 7,500. Okay, a little bit more. About 280 US dollars. All right. Yeah, Panerai is pretty nice. You want to see? I show you. Hmm. And that's your opening price, correct? Sorry? That's your opening price, right? That's my, not my opening price. You're still first customer. That's why I do. Oh, there's no price. first customer. You are still. It's first already. Customer. What time is it? It's almost 11. Yeah. I might be your first paying customer. That's. But not your first person that came by. First money is bringing with love. First money. First money. That's why I didn't charge high price for you. Ah, that's high price. You want to see it? Uh, it's not bad. I'll, the blue one's pretty nice. The yeah, blue Panerai is pretty nice. But that price is crazy, though. Uh, I can't give you some discount. Too crazy for me. Too crazy. That's too crazy. You got bags too, huh? Yes. Let me ask you, what do you get for a Bottega bag like this? How much is something like that going for? That's 8,000 lira. It's double leather. Let's talk dollars, because the lira is trash. 8,000 lira is about $280. Oh, that's a, all right, let me see this. Oh, one second. Come inside. Come. Okay, let me put these uh, sunglasses. Let me put these sunglasses down for a second. Is that, all right. Heavy. Yeah. Wow, this is heavy. Very heavy. All right. All right. So we got the. All right. Nice. Hmm. This is actually pretty nice. Very heavy. Yeah. I'm shocked at how heavy it was. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Pretty decent watch. You want to do your whole sapphire glass thing? Sorry? You want to do your whole sapphire glass thing? Go ahead, get to it. Do it. Oh, you don't have your little screwdriver? We always do it. We know what we sell. It's not cheap stuff. Let's check for scratches. No, man. I know, I see a scratch. What about always you hold do on. it? Hold on. Hold on. No, no, always you do it. You see that right there? Yeah, it's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Clean up. Clean up, please. Okay, let's see. See? I don't know. No, 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 there's a scratch right there. No, Baba, it's just dirty, dirty. Look. Man, I was going to buy this one, too. 
Okay, okay buy it, Tavi. I'm trying to see if there's a scratch here now. I don't mean. Let's see if this is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna clean it. I have a lot of watches. Yeah. Anyway, I bring. Uh, I give you another one. No problem. I'm in the business, so let me just take care of this. No, we always do it. Ah, there's a, there's a scratch right there. Go into the 14. Go into the date. No, no, it's not with that. It's, That's a scratch. No, no, it's not with this test. Maybe it's before because always we test it. Yeah, no, you see it right there, right there. You see this yeah, one? Yeah, it's a small one thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I do, do, a, I do many times. No, do you have another one? Because I like that. Oh, what other what, what other Panerai you have? Let me show you. Blue one. No, show me Panerai. Just show me Panerai. Let's go showroom. Oh, you have a showroom? Okay. Yeah. Moses is not too underground. Yeah. Moses is not too underground. What about different color? I'm worried about the sapphire glass. That's actually pretty nice. I like that one too. The dark blue one. Yeah, let me see that one. Let me see that one. Oh, like let me let me ask you, how much are you Richard Mills? Oh, Richard Mills is two, twenty two thousand dollars Yeah. No, oh, dear, dear, dear. Nobody here has uh, nobody here has the quality of Richard Mill I have. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Yeah, take that one. Yeah, let's check out that one. It's nice, nice. Don't let's not do the sapphire glass test this time though. It's also sapphire glass. I know, but let's not get crazy. No, no. I let's not get crazy with before. it. We always test it. Yeah, maybe when it came from China, they scratched it. They, they have not come from China. Where are these coming from? They come from Italy. Uh-huh. They move Japan. This one's got an issue too. Look, look, look. Have you been testing too? You're testing too hard, man. No, man. They are in the window. We never... Nobody you touched see it? You see that? No, this is Here, here's the cloth. This is not scratch. One minute. Do you have other Panerai's you can bring me here? Yeah. Because I want to stay on the street. I don't want to go anywhere else. Okay. let me. Because I have a busy day. Okay. All right. I'll wait here. Okay. They've been going too crazy with their sapphire glass testing. Uh, Italy, my ass. That's number one. Italy, my ass. China, my friends. These are all coming from China. These are not coming from Italy. Make sure you always pay attention to the lingo. I like these, though. These are very nice. I don't have a Panerai, to tell you the truth. Oh, the dial has a... The, the bezel has a smash in it, too. Look at that. Man, you guys been going too crazy with your testing. You smashed a bezel. But I need a Panerai. I don't have a Panerai. I need a Panerai. Uh, because I have Cartier. I have tons of Rolexes. I have Richard Mille. I have Patek Philippe. I have AP. I have Hublet. Um, I have Tag. I have everything. So, but I, I'm always partial to Rolex because they're the, even at the lower level, they're the better quality at the lower level. They're the most accurate, more accurate than anything. Even at the lower level, a two hundred, one hundred and fifty dollar Rolex looks better than a five hundred dollar, you know, let's just say Richard Mille, and that's a low quality Richard Mille. You know, Richard Mille's going to cost you from twelve hundred to two thousand, depending on where you get it from for a super clone. But this Patek Philippe is really nice. This is really nice. I do like this one. I do like the display more than I actually like the watch on my arm because the watch wouldn't look real on your arm. Look at the Cartiers as well. The APs are tricky. The APs are very tricky because the dials usually never function correctly. These dials don't function correctly. So if somebody was to examine it, like, you know. But then again, who's, who's wit, wrist, wrist watching you? Oh, some Burberry sunglasses are pretty nice. Those are pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah, but the kid showed me a Rolex the other day and I was actually intrigued by the Rolex. But the bracelet was too thin. Too thin. With Panerai, I'm interested in Panerai. I got one more of all right, let's have, let's have a look. All right, all right, all this right. The bezel's good. Yeah. All right, that's different. Okay. Good. Yeah, I like this. Okay. I, I like this one because it's a. I don't yes. have to do any adjustments. That's why I bring the distance. Yeah. Bezel. Bezel looks good. Yeah, it's good. This is the watches you like. It. That's why I bring the glass looks fresh. good. Yeah. Yeah, this one does look good. What I, I I do like this one. Okay. So you bought this Panerai. Okay, okay, okay. This is a, this. Yeah, they're about the, to say the band is coming metal. That's they're, right, but maybe it's more heavy. Uh, feels a little heavier. A yeah, little because heavier. Because this is caoutchouc. This is metal. Yes, 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 yes. Stings. There's a lot. Okay. The bezel looks pretty good on this one as well. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So, what's your price on this one right now? What's your opening price? It will be two eighty. Two eighty. Yeah. USD. Yeah. Oh, you got the green one. Oh, wait, oh the a soft material. Yeah. All right. 
with the green light bezel. Yeah. yeah, that's actually pretty nice. I don't like this one. Okay. This is actually pretty clean. This is pretty nice. I do like this. It's very yeah. nice. What is this? Do you, is this real leather? What is this? This is real leather. Yeah, croco print. It's, it's croc, croc, croc print. Croc oh, print. Croc print. Okay. A little blob, but okay. All black. All black. Yeah. This is carbon. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to be carbon, but it's not really carbon, right? It's not. It's not as light as carbon. Okay. So it's all black. Yeah. Okay. No, very. This is very nice. Yeah. This is also nice color. But I do think. I do think. I do like these both. These are very nice. Both are very nice, yeah. Yeah, but you know what though? I do, I do like this this band. Because I don't have a band like this. Soft couch. Yeah, because I have this type of band with an Omega. Okay. I have an Omega uh, like this. Okay. You have and things still like that? Yeah, I have many watches. Okay. I have many watches. I don't have a band like this. I do find this interesting. Okay. This is kind of like military-ish. It's more light, like more soft. Yeah, yeah. It's more yeah. military-ish. Yes. I do, I do like this one. However, I do think this is the one. Okay. Go to both of them. No, I just want one because I gotta do some shopping. I wanna, okay. I wanna go around. Let me check the dial. I wanna okay, go no around problem. the street, but I can't to buy a watch today. Okay. And you know what? I wasn't even thinking Panerai. Okay. But I figured, you know what? I saw you and I said, let's, let's, let's give this guy some business. Okay. So, let me see here. Oh. Oh, so, oh, Panerai works like that. I did not yeah, know. Yeah. Okay. All right. This seems pretty good. Hard with uh, bigger, bigger fingers. Panerai is different, not like you know, not like Rolex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they have the crown protector, which the crown protector is a good idea, you know. Yeah. Are these dials the style functional as well? Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's moving. The, the second dial is yeah. moving. Okay, it is moving. All right. Let me just take a look at the back here. So this goes like this. This comes out like this. Yeah. Let's take a look. All right. All right. Yeah, the glass does look good on this one. The bezel's good on this one. Yeah, yeah. And these, these don't come with the box, right? These don't come with the box? No box. No box, right? No, no. Get your below. No, no one. I have small one. All right, this looks pretty good. All right, so let's do the bargain. You said 280, right? Yeah. I'll give you 150. No man, come on. It's, it's, it's Start the day right with cash money. No, but believe me, you're new still first customer. That's why I didn't right, but, price. Right, but today it's a good way to start business. No, no, really. 150 cash money. No, no, 150 is like my profit is like nothing, you know? He's making profit. No, no, really. Is it nothing, really? He's making profit. No, no, really, it's nothing with the 150. It's nothing profit. All right, so what's your best price? Like I told you, I take another 30, I make 250 for you. 250? That's still yeah. way too high. First day, this is first customer. If you go to Rolex, I can give you like 151. Yeah, I, I know. I but I, I, I'd like a pa I'd like a Panerai. I'd like, like a Panerai. You like Mercedes, but you want to. No, I have I have you I have watches. I have, watches. I have I have I have Richard Mills. I have okay. everything. Um, no, you know what I mean. You like Mercedes, you want to pay price of Skoda. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I I would say like um, so you're saying 250. I'm saying 150. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's meet somewhere. Let's meet somewhere. Let's do. Uh... No, with the one fifty, really, is nothing my profit. Okay. Really. All right. So you're saying two fifty, but you're telling me I can do one fifty on a Rolex. The Rolex, I can give you one fifty. One fifty. Normally, it's not possible, like I told you, but right. You still first customer. Right. Are right, you have the palm and everything? You have the palm and everything. Okay. All right. GMT Master 2. All right, all right, all right. I do like that watch. It's very nice. Go one Rolex, one partner. Right? I have so many Rolexes, okay. and I have super clones. You know, I have super clones. I have. Come on, it's good price. Two, two fifty is too expensive. No, really, it's good price. Come on, get that cash money in your hand. Get a nice lunch today. Cash on the table, okay. Yeah, it's, it's cash. Yeah. Yeah, cash on the table too. No cash. credit, no credit card, cash. Okay. So let's, 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 come on, let's do a deal. Give me 250. I'll go up to 175. Make you happy, 175. You know what, you know what? be happy, 230. I'll take another 20, come on, man. We're still, we're still two north of my, my, my amount. No, 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 really is good price, come on. 175. No, no, come on, give me, give me 220. Cash money. 220. Give me 220. USD. Look, you go to up, I come to down. Allah, give me, give me 220. Hmm. 175. 
You just said 175. 175. That's the best I can do. 175. Mikael, you're gonna put snow again. 175. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk around. I have to go down this What's way. What's the best price? 175. Give me 200 then. No, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, you think about it. My 175. I think about your 200. One minute. One minute. We're thinking about this. You will pay cash. Yeah, USD. Right now. Okay, give me. 175? I don't want to lose my first customer. This is what I'm saying. I, now, hope, I hope it's going to bring good luck for because, you. Because now you can have a good lunch. But, but if it's not going to bring good luck, I will catch you on the street. You can't on the street. <laughs> All right, 175. Just joking. I know, I know. People know me on this street. Oh, of course, of course. I can see you. You're in Bishop Laro again. It's big change. You need any handbag for you? Nah, I, I know Not a lot of hands. Quality, we got high quality. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I deal with a lot of high quality shops, so my wife gets whatever she wants, or I get whatever I want. Plus, I deal with the Chinese, so they send me shit all the time. Which country you come from? I come from America. I'm from New York, you can't, yeah, but okay. I live in Albania. Uh, okay. And yeah, my wife's Albanian. But you live in you from USA? You live in Albania? Yeah, in Albania. Okay. Yeah. But I've been here like 12 times in the last three years. Oh, I stay okay. here for like months at a time. Okay. So like sometimes I'll stay here for three months, two months. You come here for uh, like a... Yeah, I make videos, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I make videos. I make videos. I, I, like, I like... It's close to Albania, so I like, like Turkey. You are a YouTuber then? Yeah, because I, okay. when I left the U.S., uh, I left during the uh, situation, the Rona. Okay. And here, Brazil and New Mexico are like the only three countries open to people. Okay. And I was like, well, I'm going to start traveling. I'll go to Turkey. It's halfway around the world because I want to go to Asia. Okay. Southeast Asia. Okay. In and, Turkey, you just been to Istanbul or... No, I've been to Izmir, Antalya. You've been to Izmir as well? I like Antalya. You've been in Bodrum? No, I haven't been to Bodrum. Antalya is good, but you have to be in Bodrum. I, I like Antalya. Only about Antalya I don't Bodrum. like is that I've been to Dubai as well. Uh, for the money, I'd rather go to Dubai. The summertime is good. Yeah. Summertime, Antalya That's, Yeah, I was there in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, I went there with my wife in July. We were there in July. But for the same money, I can go to, I can go to Dubai. <laughs> and the level of service in Dubai, no matter where you so, go, yeah, with, except with, for the taxi cab drivers. Money, you can go to Dubai. You yeah. Dubai. And the qu quality of food and service exactly, exactly. in Dubai yeah. is... is same price, everything? Well, during the summertime, yeah, and Italia is the same price. You know, it's no, very expensive. Man, I think Dubai is little, like little more... No, during the summertime, Dubai is cheap because it's 50 degrees. It's that's, too hot. That's true, actually. It's too hot. That's true. That is winter time is expensive. Does, does, I think it's Dubai is like December through February is like the good expensive. time to go. Okay. No, it's more expensive. Yeah, good time okay. to go. More expensive. But if you don't mind melting, Turkey, it goes cheaper. Turkey summertime is expensive. It's expensive still right now. Yeah, because... The hyperinflation. Yeah, the inflation summertime is expensive, Turkey. Yeah. But it's still expensive right now. November, it should change a little bit. No, right now, it's all prices normal. Well, I'll put it this way. Uh, I was here three years ago for three months. Yeah. In November. I came November, December, January. Yeah. The same apartments I was renting back then for $500 a month. Okay. Now, it's $500 a week. Oh. Okay. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember a friend and I came here for one week, for eight days, by Galata Tower. Yeah. And... We were here for eight days. I paid two hundred like forty dollars for a week. No, no, the food food money is in, like never change. It's every, got every in the tourist area. In the tourist area, it's got more expensive. Yo, yo, more than seven dollars. Yo, how much? I'll, I'll take. I will give you five dollars to lira. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you? Yo, one. Ah, two. Tell me. Yeah, lira is fine. Yo, this is two hundred dollars. Where is this? Two hundred dollars. Lira is food money, right? Yeah. I give you. Yeah, like that 40, I will give you another 100. Yeah, thank you. Like I told you, you're still first customer. Yeah, I know, man. Change. I'm going to bring you good luck, though. I hope. I yeah, hope. yeah, yeah. I'm bringing you good luck. Trust me. Which hotel you stay here? Otherwise, I will catch you. I, I, I stay in many hotels. <laughs> okay. Do you know there's some countries I travel to that no matter yeah, what you do in the country, like if you go into a store and buy something for a high value, like oh. over $1,000, yeah. you exchange money, uh, you do different things, you have to put the hotel you're staying at oh. on the thing. Okay. Not just your passport, they actually need the hotel, hotel number, your room number, everything. Everything. Yeah. No, in Turkey is... So there's some countries are like, people just think like, oh, whatever, but some countries like there's shit you can't do. You can't, there's some countries you can't even get a metro card without going, you can't get out of the machine. Like you have to go yeah. with your passport for exactly. the first time around yeah, and yeah. this whole thing. That's true. Yeah, yeah it's very interesting. Okay. The world's a crazy place. All right, my friend. Let me, put okay, my, let me put my Turkish lira away. Nice to meet you. Take care. Best of luck. Uh, all the best with you. Yes, I'll probably. I'll we see you, you soon. I'll see you in the future. Okay, Take bye -bye. care. Bye bye. All right. So we copped the Panerai. 
Let me just check my stream real quick. Oh, uh, let's see. It's saying we are alive. My bit rate is good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit. Now, Panerai is very nice, heavy. I wanted a different band. I don't have any type of bands like that. Like I said, I have the Omega uh, Seamaster with the cloth band. Uh, and I, I love, I have that watch. Uh, it's the black and orange one. It's fantastic. But I, want, I don't have anything like this one. So I got this. I do have a rubber band one that's for the uh, Patek Philippe, which I hardly ever wear. I, I mean, Patek Philippe is so expensive. Like who, you know what I mean? Like APs, Patek Philippe's, Richard Mill. I have them and I, I, I don't wear them because I'm a, I'm a Rolex, uh, I wear Omega because it's more realistic. So we got a watch. I can fit a watch in my bag. So that's not a problem. Sneakers will be an issue. First of all, I don't need sneakers. I personally do not need sneakers. I have so many pairs of sneakers, it is crazy. And I have Chinese one-to-one -one reps, I have UAs. So, or I have original sneakers, one or the other. But I always am interested in, you know, if I can find myself a nice pair of Jordans that are really good quality. So very, very difficult. Uh, these black cats are pretty nice. So these black cats are pretty nice. The meshing is correct. The eyelids are, I mean, the uh, right here, not that bad, not that bad. Not that bad. I'm not a black cat fan. I do not like the black hat Jordans one bit. Um, so we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. I don't really need clothing. Don't need a rug. We don't need a rug. We don't need fabrics. We don't need a suit. Maybe one day need a suit. But I would get a suit in Albania where I live. Hello. This thing goes, hello my friends, you got suits. Yeah, come. 750 Turkish lira for a suit. Or a jacket. Jackets. Jackets. Yes. Fixed price. Huh. Fixed price. This is Istanbul. This is Istanbul. All right, how much, how much is it? All right, let's. This is 750 Turkish lira campaign. Pretty cheap. Yeah. That's pretty cheap. Um, let me ask you something. So how much does a coat like this go for? This is coat. This is 2,700 lira. Kashmir material. How much, how much in dollars? Dollar, maybe 95 dollars. 95 dollars. That's a very smart coat. It makes you look smart. It makes you look smart. Like your IQ level goes up for 100 bucks. This is a uh, YouTuber. Now I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I do YouTube, social media. I do all. I do all. All right, so how much is a nice a nice suit? Like, let's say it's a gray one right here. This is gray one, suit nice. And what do you get with the suit? You get, it's a three piece? You get three, three pieces. Okay, so it doesn't come with a shirt and tie? No. No shirt and tie, that's Jacket, extra. Jacket, gilet, and pants. Okay, so let me ask you another question. Do you have higher quality than this? If somebody came here and they said, I want really good quality, you have a tailor and you have a better tailor, quality. Special tailor, special tailor, yes. Okay. Special tailor, yes. This is very good suite. Oh. Very good, very nice country suite. And how much is the price this of the Turkish material. And how much How much in dollars for a three piece? Uh, dollar, dollar, maybe, hundred dollar, start price. Okay, start price. Hundred dollar. Then, de then depending on the quality of the suit, it's going to go up. Quality, quality, this is up. Okay. All right, very good. So for basically $200, you can get a suit and a nice jacket. Yes. All right. Yes. And you also sell ties and shirts as well? Tie gift for you. Ties gift. <laughs> and what about the shirt? Shirt, shirt to gift for shirt, you. Shirt, to gift. All right, thank you guys. Take care, my friends. Take care. I'll give you my, Insta I'll give you my Instagram. Your Instagram. The, br the brands closed my channel. Role Rolex got mad. Gucci got mad. I'm from New York. But I live in Albania. Yes. Albania, Shiptar. But I'm not Shiptar. My wife is. Uh, this is our Instagram, right? Yeah. Uh, Internet's so slow. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's me. This one? Yeah, that's, that's me. Yeah. That's my account right there. This is your account, huh? That's my account, yeah. Okay, I follow you. Alright, thank you, my friends. Take care, guys. Take care. Gile, gile. Alright. So I got my watch in my hand here. I can't throw it in my backpack because my backpack gets very warm. I have my streaming equipment in my backpack. More watches here as well. Sneakers. But what can I buy? I bought the watch. This was my main, this was my main thing to get was a watch. 
I might buy two. I don't know. I might buy something else. But it's warm here, so I don't want a jacket. I actually brought two. I brought a, a, a sweater with me and a sweatshirt with me. And my windbreaker jacket. You have some lovely bags, sir. How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah. What watch you? I got an AP. Let's look at your watch real quick. Very nice. You selling those now too as well in your showroom? Yes. Yes. How much are you getting for an AP? Uh, $200. $200 and that's your opening price. Yes. Automatic? Yes. Okay, Japanese movement, all right. Yeah, I just bought a Panerai. 175 I haggled down. He wanted 280. I got down for 175. I was nice. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. I want one I want to do 150. I want to do 150, but he would first customer of the day. You know the whole lingo. You are my best customer. <laughs> Oh, my friend. How's everything going? Good? You doing good? Good, good. good? That's good. Nice. Good. All right. Take care, my friend. I'll see you soon. You. So these guys are out here. He, he's got a showroom. He's got a showroom. It's actually in... You have to go through the Grand Bazaar to get to the showroom, but then it's outside of the actual bazaar, but it's inside the bazaar walls, which means on a Sunday you can't go there. He doesn't have access to it on a Sunday. That's what's tricky about the bazaar. People don't understand. The bazaar is a labyrinth of shops, first of all, but number two, they have like these storage areas around the bazaar, which are actually hidden showrooms for the most part, but makes it very tricky for places to actually, um, on a Sunday, it's locked up. Tons of bags. So crazy, I start the video and I cop a watch in the first shop. The other watch guy is outside the Grand Bazaar. That is the guy that I was trying to... Uh... This guy's only paying attention. Uh, outside the Grand Bazaar was the other watch guy who offered me the watch for 100 euro. So I want to go back over there and see if I can find him. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, because if I can make this a watch spectacular video, that would be the best thing. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see if there's anything down here. There's nobody down this way that has watches. Let's go down this way for the hell of it. Let's go this way. Now, I know watch guys off of here, off of the street, but I'm not going to take you to the hidden sauce. You know what I mean? I'm not going to take you to the sauce out here. Those places you have to deal with them directly. But we're going to go out here, see what's popping, and we're going to work our way back to the Grand Bazaar and see if we can cop, get the guy to sell me a watch. Serious cement going down. What the hell is going on here? This is crazy. This is nuts. Gotta be careful when you walk around here. Get a little uh, cement on you. So I hope you guys are enjoying this early, early Saturday stream. Yeah, I mean, there's this labyrinth of everything. You know what? We're gonna go down here for the hell of it before we go that way. Like I said, we did our job. We got our watch cop. That's a video right there. That's it. That's what you guys came for. You guys came for that. But we're gonna try to get another one. But I'm gonna show you like the coolness of Istanbul. So this is all like fabric wholesale, stuff like that. Tons of fabrics, tons. Look at all this. Tons. So like in these hidden areas, I showed, I think I showed last time during the summer and the other day, there's areas with just hats. Just hats. And go up this way. Got good bit rate. And that's what we're concerned about. Good bit rate. Look at all this. Very nice. Could you imagine working here? Shit, there's stairs. Damn it. There's a staircase. Could you guys imagine working here all day? Now you come here for four or five day holiday. Shopping is one day. You come to the Grand Bazaar area, you come shopping for one day. But can you imagine being here every day? Every day? Every day from like eight in the morning to about seven at night. All day, every day. Dealing with you crazy people. All right. All right. This was not the brightest of ideas I had, but I've been here before down the street. 
probably about three years ago. But this is Istanbul. If you're physically challenged, Istanbul can be tricky for you. Very tricky. Oh, pardon. All right, we're gonna get up there. And I'll tell you, no matter what shape you're in, the first couple of, or the first like day and a half in Istanbul will be challenging for you. Just be adjusting to the constant hills on every turn. Let me go this way. 100 Turkish, 120 Turkish lira. Let's just think, 100 Turkish lira is about 350 USD. Gotta be careful, I almost twisted my ankle. If you guys are looking for Nike, it's tracksuit, Adidas, tracksuit. Remember, never gonna find that in high quality. It's always gonna be lower, mid, or low. Will be cheaper, trust me. Like, max $30 for a tracksuit. A designer tracksuit is gonna run you about two, 230 to 300, but <laughs> there's a huge difference. Let me tell you the, let me tell you the big difference. Oh, this beautiful sunshine, ooh, feels so good. The big difference between a low mid-level tracksuit and a high quality tracksuit is how it's gonna look on you and the actual material. When you buy a cheap tracksuit and you stand next to somebody that has like a good tracksuit, you can just tell. Well, you can tell even the way it sits on a hanger. It's just different. It's just different. Shirts are out here as well. We just talked to those suit guys over there. So if you need shirts to go with your suits. Yeah, yeah, I, I make this He makes this count. Look right there. And he's got, they got jerseys here. They got everything. You Thank you, my friend. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on, follow me on Instagram. I have a new channel. They closed my other channel down. You have a fund. How yeah. many? I had almost 19,000 oh, and I just did market nice. stuff. But Rolex and Gucci, Marathon. Rolex and Gucci got me. UK? No, America, America New York. I watch that you're doing right. the Grand Plaza. Yeah, I do a lot of them, yeah. yeah. I watch that. But I, uh, I, live, I live in Albania. Uh, who's the, the, this one? Luffy. Uh, well, for me, uh, it's yeah. just to hold my phone. <laughs> but other people, it's the best anime yeah, in the world. Anime, yeah. Yeah, I, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Because I watch it. <laughs> you watch it. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Bye bye. Have a good day. People like to tell me this is the best anime, and I'm like, what? It's just to hold my phone. I don't know. Alright, we're having fun out here. This is how we do. Now, I'm gonna try to stream a lot today. Because it's a beautiful weather day. So it's important. Because then I can go back and chop out these streams, these different segments, upload them separately to Facebook and everywhere else, so you guys consume smaller portions. So I don't mind walking around showing different things. I just copped a watch, I got that Panerai. But I can't walk around holding a lot of stuff because I need to go drop it off at my hotel. I need to recharge some batteries, do things like that. But we are going to go outside the Grand Bazaar to see if we can find that watch guy. So let's do that. You're gonna have to walk with me now. I started my day with a Starbucks coffee. I'm ready for another one. I'm ready for another one. Oh, look how beautiful this is. This is worthy of a photo. You got that haze from the sunshine coming through. It beats a rainy day here, let me tell you that much. And uh, let's see, I'm looking. Drama. What happened here? What has happened here? Oh, let's make sure this is going here. Hold on. I hit a button on my phone by accident here. Let's make sure we're live here. Hold on. 
Let me make sure we live. What is going on here? Give me a second, guys. I have to go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me go there. Let me go to Twitch. Let me make sure we're on Twitch right now. Yeah, we live. Yeah, we live. Okay. I was worried. Uh, I, my phone flips around and I have the master control for my stream up and my finger hit a button and it switched to starting soon instead of being on and I'm like wait a second I know I started it on I know it was on I know it was but we're back damn it's bright it's sunny you know when you hear this part of the world same thing with Albania you need sunglasses man like you gotta wear sunglasses however and you're like me and you're trying to dip in and out of darkness and sunshine trying to read phones and you have your protection screen on your phone as well for your glass and you have polarized sunglasses it gets tricky it gets very tricky trying to navigate IRL streaming let me tell you something I've been streaming for years making videos and streaming for years and when I first started live streaming, it was actually a friend of mine who got me into live streaming. And I was like, at first I was like, I don't really want to do this. I want to make videos. I know how to edit. You know what I mean? I know I like to just have fun and make videos and edit. But the more videos I did with him on his channel, I was like, you know what? This live shit's pretty good. And this is going back almost three years ago. So then, once I got more into like one the live stream, and I saw the benefits of live streaming how people gravitated to just the randomness versus the overly produced or shall I say thought out like, like when you when you're filming a video there's a lot of moments that just get left out you know and sometimes context gets lost or you could spin the context in such a way that what you're showing to people didn't really happen the way it was. It's always been a Hollywood trick, right? But we do that with YouTube videos. Whereas in a live stream, what happens on camera is there. It's caught. Like, it is what it is. So I kind of really gravitated to that. And I really enjoy it. But I also like making videos as well. The only thing I tell you is that once I got into now, like, IRL streaming, where it's a different type of setup, it actually, the end result is so much better. It's so much better. It's a lot more hassle, a lot more setup, a lot more work. But the actual quality level is, it makes it worth it. It makes it worth it. And what I do here in the bazaar, when I'm here in Istanbul, since I don't live here, it's important for me when I'm here to make content that goes directly to the person instantaneously. So when you guys are either coming here this week, next week, next month, doesn't matter. People with a longer time frame have more opportunity to research. But if you're coming here tomorrow or you're in your hotel room going, let's look on YouTube to see what there's videos of the Grand Bazaar or shopping in Istanbul. That's kind of like where this live streaming comes into play. Obviously, I could just come here, walk around for a week shooting a ton of video, go home, edit it, and put up one or two videos from my week here and move on. But live streaming, I can go live every day. I can go live two times a day. You know what I mean? Like I have the opportunity to instantly. The always problem was the internet connection here from the cell phones is, is poor and it's an old city. So the only way to defeat that was to invest a lot of money into defeating that. And so far, so good. There are, there's been three places so far that have been limited. There's one place I wanted to show you guys yesterday. I couldn't because the signal wasn't strong enough, even with three bonded connections, crazy. But it is what it is. You take the good with the bad, and uh, I'm happy with how everything's coming out, and I hope you guys are happy as well. If you wanna know if you ever come here and you need a Metro card, these boots right here. There'll be one on this side, one on that side, on all, all stations usually. 
has a button for English. Could also have your language if English is your second language. And uh, like I said, usually if it's a long line, it's because it's a foreigner trying to figure it out. A tourist, a tourist, a tourist. A tourist is trying to figure it out and it's causing a crazy line. Another interesting thing about Istanbul, I'll tell you, as we head back to the Grand Bazaar to see if we can cop another watch, is that I've met so many of you guys over the years here. And some of you I've hung out with multiple times when I'm here. Some of you I still talk to you, whether through social media years later. You know, we, we make plans to meet again here. A lot of fun. But there's always been a handful of people that have come here that I've met that when we're hanging out have said something to me about Istanbul to that this very day, whether it was two years ago, a year and a half ago, three months ago. There's something you pointed out to me or something you did that when I see it occurring or happening here, I think of that person. And sometimes I'll reach out to them like, yeah, I thought of you today. And I'll send them a photo of what I saw and they're like, they'll laugh, you know. Or I hung out with these guys from the UK and they were clothes, we were clothes shopping and they were telling me, uh, they, were, they were calling like, they were looking at a jacket and they thought it's a smart coat. And I'm like, a what? It's a smart coat. One sec. And they're like, it's a smart coat. And I'm like, a smart coat? And they're like, yeah, it's a coat that makes you look smarter. And I'm like, oh shit. So now, hello my friend. So now every time I see, every time I see, um, every time I see, a coat that makes people look smart. I said, oh, it's a smart coat. That coat will make you look smart because being from New York, we didn't, we didn't, didn't use that terminology. Maybe the kids do now. You know what I mean? But we didn't use that terminology. So there's funny things. There's other things too that like other people have done. Like one of my friends, he was here. We did a video together, Mr. Perez. We did a shoe video. The first day he was here and he's been here before. He was getting his, his card for the tram and he was having some difficulties and it caused a massive line behind him. So every time I see a line with a foreigner in the front, I take a photo, I send it to him, I say, look, thinking of you. I just like to have fun with people. So should you. Always have fun in life. Life should be fun. All right, we're about three minutes away from the Grand Bazaar. We've been streaming for 47 minutes. A lot of tour groups out here right now. It's another thing too. Don't ever use a shopping tour guide. They're all scams, they're not licensed. They work in here illegally, right? They don't want to give you information for high quality places. They tell you to call them on WhatsApp when you get to Istanbul. You're coming to Istanbul, you want to prepare, you want to plan. You want to plan for your shopping. The idea, the reason why nobody tells you anything in advance is because it's a scam. They need you to be here in the city to scam you, right? So, and, they, and not only are they trying to scam you, is the fact is that they need you. They need to know where you are. They need to take you most likely. And they want you to pay them to take you to be scammed. It is the craziest shit. It's like a taxi cab driver. Taxi drivers do the same thing. You get on a taxi or a car service, the hotel calls your car service. The minute they know you're going shopping, oh my God. They will play stupid like they don't know where shit is. Then they'll ask you for a number for the place. They'll call it, and in Turkish, they'll tell the person at the other end of the line that they have a person, a shopper who wants to come to the shop, but they want money, they want commission. And if they say no to them, then they'll they say, oh, I don't know where it is, or there was no answer. Hello, my friend. That there was no answer, or they'll take you to some other random place that's not it, and be like, oh, here it is, you know, or drop you off nowhere near it, and it's like, get out, it's here, and you're like, get out, and you're like, what? There's no, there's no shop here. They do crazy shit like that. And you paid them. You paid them for a service. It's the same too with uh, you coming here for medical treatment. A lot of those medical uh, clinics, the people that work there, like the, the, they have drivers and stuff like that, they're all connected to shops here. And a lot of times you guys come in for medical service and you have like a four day window between your, your um, treatment and you have like one day to shop, you know? And usually for you guys it's a rough day because you know, you're recovering, you're supposed to rest. And what happens is they try to set you up as well. No, thank you, my friend. You I'm from, wait, wait, wait. I am from New York. New York price. New York price? Yes. How much is New York price? Lira, dollar? I don't, I don't want, but. 40. 
40. Oh, okay. What do you got there? Hublet? Yes, you want to buy? How much is the hublet? Lira? Dollar? Dollar. Dollar, $400. $400 for a hublet? Yes. For a hu you say hublet or hublo? Yeah. What do you say? Hublo or hublet? I'll go to You're my store. What's your name? Where's your store around here? Yes, 100 meter store. 100 meters? Yeah. Oh. You want to buy? No, somebody offered me somebody offered me a Rolex the other day for 100 euro. 100 is no good quality. 15 euro. It was better than the Hublet. Yes. 15 euro. I got a, I just got I just bought a Panerai. Yeah. Yeah, I just bought I just bought a Panerai. Well, they put it in a Breitling box. I got a Panerai. 175. Japanese movements. Yes. Very good quality. No perfume. Good luck on the perfumes. How much? Perfume? All right. Bro. I'm trying to find my guy. I'm trying to find my guy. Oh, no, I'm not good. I'm good. Uh, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. no I don't have any room or in my bag. No, I don't have any room in my bag. How much? One, one euro? 20 euro. Oh, 20 euro. I thought you said one euro. No, no, no. No, no. I thought you said 20. You know, I made a video like two years ago. I bought a bunch from a guy. Me and my friend, we bought them all. How much? Pay? Then we then we found the guys like you that we liked, and we went back and gave them all back to you to resell for money. I give fifteen. Right? Nah, I'm good. Ten? Nah, I'm good. Can you know? Okay. Do you work with him? How do you guys compete? No, you don't know him. No. Who's a better seller, you or him? You are you better seller than he is? Who sells more? All right, take take care, of my friend. Thank you. My watch guy's not out here. I'm gonna have to go over this way. Let's go see if over here somebody yells watches, watches. My watch guy's not here. This might be a this might be a fail for us. Kind of fail. We already got a watch. But this is only the first stream of the day. We got more to come, people. We just out here living the dream. The hustle. But like I was saying, yeah, don't ever link up with any don't ever tell a taxi cab driver you're going shopping or car service. Even at your hair care clinic, don't tell the people, the drivers there and stuff, that you're going shopping. Uh, there are a handful of people that use YouTube basically solely to scam you, and they want you to WhatsApp them, and like I said, you guys contact them. And you're like, yeah, they told me that, you know, they're not gonna give me any information until I'm, until I'm actually there. And I'm like, they're scamming you. Like what, like, what do you think they're doing? It's all a scam, you know? Me? Yeah, you hit me up. Information free. Information is free. You guys have the choice to go where you want, anywhere. But if you have questions of where I can find X, Y, and Z, hit me up in high quality. Mid quality, I'll tell you the areas. I don't really dabble too much with mid quality because mid quality is pretty much the majority of the Grand Bazaar on the front. Outside is majority low, mid, and low. So cheap prices. But we'll see if there's anybody out here who wants to hustle a watch. Hello, my friend. No, no jeans today, my friend. I have a t-shirt, jeans. Good I got no room for jeans. What do you want? Um, well, I'm looking for watches, but... Which brand watch? That's a Rolex. Yes. Submariner. Yes. How much does that go for? Come, I will show you. No, no, just, just in general. Brother. I just bought a watch. Well, um, what do you I, I got a Panerai. How much you pay? 175. Japanese movements. I have also nice Rolex. All yeah, yeah, Rolex is the best ones nice. to buy Come, when, with copies. You. I have a many brands. Come, I will show you, brother. I don't want to go back there right now. I've been back there. Just have a look. Best of all. I'll come problem. back later. It's back there. My story. It's in there. Yeah, the alleyway. I know. I know it. I've been there. I know it. No, not today. Not today. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. I know. You know Tony. You know Tony. You know Tony? Tony here. Oh, you don't know Tony? You don't know Tony the bad guy? No, I know. Very popular guy. Very famous. Very famous. Tony. Tony gone? Again? He looked so happy the other day. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, oh he's whiskey. 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 Tony Caput Viegra. Sex. Caput. Kevin? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Am I showing you watch? No, not right now. So Tony's not coming back later? Maybe jeans, jeans. Viegra, Viegra, out. Oh. Oh. All right, maybe later. I'll be back. I was hoping Tony would be here. All right, thank you. All right. So let's go. No luck there. I don't want to go to that watch guy. Because what the other kid showed me for 100 euro. Too bad. No, not right now. Thank you. How are you? The, the kid showed me for a hundred lira, hundred euro. I was like, "All right, that's that's good price." No, thank you. No, thank you. It's good price. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. 
But usually when you don't see the guys out on the street here, it's because they're with a customer. Or they're maybe not working yet. Sometimes they work later in the afternoon, like it's 11 o'clock here. It's, a, it's 11.45 here. Also too, don't ever eat out here. Don't ever eat out here. I'm telling you that right now. It's like double the price than going across the street. And like a third of the price if you just go one block down. There are places along the tram line that if you go like a full block down, the price will drop by another third for the same meal. Same size meal, same portion, same quality, same everything. So just keep that in mind. Like this is what this, is what, this kebab place right here is one of the most expensive kebab ones. Food's not bad. I, I mean, a lot of people eat there. Some of you guys eat there, but it's like expensive. I don't see my guy here. I don't see my guy here. He's normally here. Now we're talking low quality watches. If you want high quality, you want no bullshit, you want, you know, you don't want to be pressured into buying, oh, you're buying, you're buying uh, first shop of the day, blah, 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 all that bull crap. That's all like bull crap. Uh, tough your glass and boom, 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 boom. Like you saw in the beginning of the video, if you watch, that one wash it got scratched up with the lighter. It really got scratched up. And I was like, wait, you know, that's why I was cleaning the watch. I'm like, it's scratched, it's scratched. And then the other one, the bezel was all damaged, all banged up and shit. I'm, I'm guessing the same thing will happen to this one. Um, but I'll take care of it the best I can. I don't know, maybe they sat here tested way too much. But anyway, I'm gonna end the stream here, and we're gonna try later. Hopefully, maybe we'll get into another watch or something, but right now I'm gonna end the stream. It's been long, and the guys that I wanted to speak to are not here. But we got one watch. We, we've accomplished one thing. Yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys in a bit.